Hi y'all. Hey, I got the sun in me, so I can't really see very good, but uh, I got the pump hooked up. I've got a little leak over here, but uh, I got to get that. Uh, I get that water tank hooked up. It's a 600 gallon tank and I've got to have it filled with water because if we, have, if we get rain those seeds are going to get triggered to germinate and if we only get rain for one day I've got to be out here every day watering and I need to make sure that I have water in that tank right there to be able to water this whole area by hand. All right, if we only get one day of rain. But let me go ahead and hear that water leak. I built the platform too. Gotta let it build up pressure. I don't want it to uh, hear the change. Okay. So. I got this whole area right here planted and it has not rained in six weeks. This has been like this for over a month. See, I still got the, the you know, the troughs where I planted the seed. But uh, let me show you this before I run out of gas. Uh, it puts out about 200 gallons. so. I've got it timed. I figured out that, uh, you know, this is a 600 gallon tank, so two, four, six. And that's it right there. Now, this thing is, or, this is designed, you know, to turn. And eventually, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to have this teed off and, uh, that way I could run two inch pipe straight out to those lines and you know puts out 100 gallons a minute so it's the fastest way to water these troughs and if you look right here now that I know I got water I'm gonna go ahead and work on this project right here I'm just gonna line everything up in a straight line and uh, plant right here just plant everything in here uh, man, that doesn't look straight, but it is straight. Cause that's, that's 30 feet right there. Two feet out. Oh, well, I need to measure it from the fence. Can't tell looking down here, but anyways, I'm going to line all this up and make this, uh, turn it into a drought garden. Now this garden has got to be able to work in, in, in excessive rain and also, uh, you know, drought situations like right now the weather is very unpredictable this is this has to be this garden has to be designed to handle both types of weather extreme rain and no rain like what we have right now but uh i'm glad i got the water tank running it's very it's a lot of work but uh anyways so now i got to move over to the second plan which i got to get everything uh seeded and uh, I'm going to put daikon radish, regular sugar beets where you get your sugar from, your table sugar from, and then uh, Detroit golden beets. And uh, the plan this year is to try to uh, uh, grow corn right after I harvest all this stuff. I'm not going to let it go all year. I'm just going to harvest it all because I got a big enough freezer now and I could just put the Put what I harvested in the freezer, and uh, I think I'm gonna put corn in right away. All right, I'll do another video once I get the uh, everything planted and all this uh, dressed up. When I have it designed to uh, hold water, these rows, and that's gonna be a, a wildlife area. I'll be able to actually water these trees now. All right, see y'all later uh, for the uh, second part.